Hey everybody, Chris Shea here and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you guys one of the most underrated tools in Premiere Pro. Of course, I'm talking about the gradient ramp. It is a simple, awesome effect to instantly make your footage look awesome. There's lots of things you can do with it, and I'm here to show you the subtle cues on how to make that work. It's a little bit different on every clip that you're going to use, but hopefully with this tutorial it'll help you troubleshoot that so that way you can do it pretty quickly and easily. Alrighty, well let's dive into Premiere Pro and check this out. Okay, on my timeline I've added five clips which are diverse enough to give you guys a good and quick idea of the different things that you can do with this effect. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go over to the new item. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to grab an adjustment layer. Click on that, hit OK. And then now I'm just going to drag that and spread it out over all the clips. So I find it easier to add one, adjust it, and then cut later. So I'm going to go to the effects tab and I'm going to type in ramp. So I'm just going to grab this ramp and then drop it on top. And it's in black and white, which is not the color that I want. So I'm just going to set up a just a basic color that we can use as like a starting point for each of these clips. So on the start, I'm going to start with a uh, Let's go with uh, an orange. So I'm gonna grab this like orange over here. And you know, the colors don't need to be exact. It could be, you know, any color that you want. But I'm gonna start with orange and an orange and teal colors. So there we go. Okay. So now we have uh, orange and teal, and I'm gonna lower the opacity here just a little bit so that way you can see the subject behind me. So what I'm going to do with this now is I am just going to change the ramp shape from linear ramp to radial ramp. And you can see now it's created a little circle over there. So I'm going to click on where it says ramp. And now I can actually move this. The crosshair pulls up. And I'm going to move it over her face. And there's something else that's cool too. So if I grab the other ramp for the other color, the other crosshair, you, if you move it closer, it makes the circle smaller. You move it away, it makes it bigger until it all the way fills the page. So you do have a lot of control over this. But for this, you know, I want it to, I want it to fill her, so I'm gonna leave it kind of there. I'm gonna lower this down just a little bit more. And then, you know, there, yeah, that should be pretty good. And so now for the blend mode here, I'm just going to change this to soft light. And I'm gonna lower this down, let's say, it's like 50%. Okay, now let's see what it looked like before and after, before, after, boom, that's instant awesome. Now you can mess with the saturation if you want, you know, you add more, you know, I think sometimes uh, less is more, but you can see clearly what that looks like. Okay, let's go on to the next clip over here. Now this one, we're gonna wanna go back to the, where it says a uh, linear ramp. So I'm just gonna, you know, change the ramp shape here back to linear ramp. It already looks better, but that's not exactly how I want it. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna pull it to the corner, kind of mimic where the sun comes from. So you can see like, sun is beaming on this side, so the sun's probably over here, shadows in the back. Um, I don't see the other cross here, so a quick way to pull that up is just, you know, over the color that you want to adjust is just move that and, okay, there it is. Move that behind her. And you know what, uh, soft light looks pretty good. You can adjust the opacity of that however you'd like it. And once again, this is before and this is after. Before and after. Pretty quick and easy awesomeness. Okay, let's go on to the next clip. Alrighty, so over here, let's, uh, let's move this up, make it a lot brighter. And let's change the ramp. Okay, now this one, we want it pretty much back how it was in the beginning, so I'm just gonna hit the uh, the reset parameter button to both of them and now it's reset to where I want it and the blend mode I'm going to change this to multiply now so I'm going to go ahead and click on multiply and then I'm going to change the color make this red boom I think red looks pretty decent you know I mean you could adjust the opacity make it as strong or as you know weak as you want but I think that looks good and you can change the color down here to pretty much any color that you want Okay, purple, sure, why not? 
Okay, so one of the cool things is that you can add keyframes to any of this. Like, let's say this is a, a time lapse. So if I wanted to, you know, follow my colors and maybe make them a little bit wilder than what the natural sunset looks like, you know, I can keyframe, you know, the end color, the start color, the position. You can even change the shape. So you can go from linear to radial, which I think is pretty cool. We're not going to do that now, but if you want to explore something like that, there's uh, hours of fun you can have with that. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to change the color over here so the red sky doesn't really make sense. I'm going to just change it to like a, a teal sky. There we go, and the bottom color, well, it's the beach, so we're going to make it look like sand. So we're going to go like to an orangish color. Great. And let's make the blend mode. Let's change that to overlay. You know, I think that, uh, I think that looks pretty good as it is. So uh, let's see, before and after. Without, with it. Without it, with it. Cool, fast and simple. This one over here, just gonna take the ramp, gonna click on that, and I'm going to move these positions over here. Well, the top one is blue, so let's make that our sky. And let's, let's go over here, let's click the bottom one, and let's move it, let's move it over here. You can change these colors to whatever you'd like. You know, like let's say that I want a light pink sky. Cool. And let's say that uh, for this, we'll go ahead and we'll make it like a, make it this color. Boom. And you know what? I actually want to lighten that up. Okay, cool. So now you can see before, after. Before, after. Instant, cool color grade gives you a little bit more control. And uh, feel free to play around with this. If you want to, you know, adjust, you can always, you know, check out the different blend modes, different opacities, you know, all of these things do a bunch of different things. You can play around with it, but these are just quick things that I thought looked good. You know, there are a lot of ones that don't look good, so I thought I would save you all some time and give you the go-tos. Alrighty, well thank you very much for watching. You know, I hope that you're able to use this effect on one of your upcoming projects. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. I've got a lot of cool new videos coming out. And uh, yeah, share this with a friend if you think they'll get a kick out of it too. I will definitely appreciate that. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you just want to say something nice. I love hearing that and uh, that's pretty much all I got. Thank you very much. I will see you again soon. Take care.